Once upon a time, Kate Starbird was a basketball star, the National Player of the Year at Stanford, hitting threes. No joke. She's now all about nailing the facts. I would say since the pandemic, we've seen an uptake of a first uh, misinformation about the pandemic or disinformation about the pandemic as well. Everyone now calls her Dr. Starbird as the founder of UW Center for an Informed Public, the go-to voice for monitoring and dispelling conspiracy theories and disinformation. Misinformation is information that's false, but not necessarily intentionally false. So a rumor that turns out not to be not to be true, but the people who created it didn't know that it wasn't true when they created it. Disinformation, on the other hand, is information that's that's misleading, false or misleading for some kind of purpose, um, often a political objective. Uh, and we see disinformation as much more, in some ways, problematic because it's an intentional distortion of the information space. And then that started to blend into um, political disinformation leading into election 2020. Um, and then on top of we have, you know, political protests and, and um, a, a climate crisis and, and all of those crises together are really kind of Um, making us vulnerable to mis- and disinformation right now, and certainly we've seen an uptick. Her research has documented fake scientific papers spread online and says people should sample a wide variety of news sources and also be prepared for an onslaught of misinformation come Election Day. So some people are going to try to paint that, that uncertainty as, you know, and, and make it into doubt about the election results. And we're already seeing some pre-framing around that. So just, I, I would love to just warn people, like, it's going to be uncertain for a while. In Seattle, Chris Daniels, King 5 News.